this story isn't so happy. Uh, let's get started reading. I, I think... I think so. Alright. Here he goes. I'm tired. Ooh, pretty flower. There we go. Look out, Seafoam! Not what I wanted, but this'll do. For now. Mama! Orion, you've been rather quiet over there. Ugh, it's just Sam's back. What? Did he? Yes, the Lantern Dragon lost its mother and an eye. Because of him. Someday we'll catch him. Hopefully soon I'll get that Lantern Dragon. Hey, little Lantern Dragon. Come in. The fail. I I'm not here to hurt you, alright? I'm here to help. Really? Yes, really. I'm going to get you or I all cleaned up. So you can here yeah, give you shelter until then. Oh, okay, Mister Ernst Seafoam. Name's Ryan. So how's the Seafoam? You said he's too dependent. We can't release him into the wild, and we can't keep him here forever. You suggesting we find a different home for him? Well, it's the only way we can keep him safe. I'll try to find... Uh, never mind, I'll take this. You've reached Richie, CEO of El Meno, one of the leading subworks in the Lantern Dragon conservation effort. Cass? What do you mean a Lantern Dragon is running around the resort? Uh, Aw, thanks. So, what's a lantern? What's a lantern dragon doing over up here? Aren't you supposed to be over there? You don't. You know, I don't like loud noises. Why are you here? The people that were taking care of me didn't give me a doctor of attention, and I was bored. Okay, okay. What happened to your? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Won't ask you again. Seems like that's a sensitive question. How to get him to calm down. Um, hey, you wanna get something from the gift shop? Oh, okay. Find something? Soft. You want that pillow? Alright, I'd like to buy this. Here you go. Uh... Sea foam! Well, uh, sea foam. I'm Emily. Can I stay with you, Mrs. Emily? At least while I'm here, I guess. You're... You're, uh... Adorable. Alright, this is where I'm staying while I'm here. Small. Yes, but I don't live here, sweetheart. Yes, who is it? I'm asking that no one leaves their rooms for the time being. We found out a lantern dragon that was under our care is somewhere it, th there it is you, you can't take him from me w what we're supposed to be looking after him fine you can have him for now while i figure out what to do actually i am not sure what to do you're call you're the head researcher here after all but if it were my choice, I'd let her keep the Lantern Dragon. You heard what they said. He's too dependent. You're, you're right. You can keep him. I talked to my boss and my colleagues, and he's too dependent to be released into the wild. So we need to talk about what he needs. You kindly come with me. I'll make sure someone can take care of him. So what is it? There's some other things that he needs. Someone that'll always care for him. I can do that gladly. Help! Ugh, finally. Put my child down. No. Wait. Wait, wait, what? Did you? Did you just... No way, you actually did it. We've been trying to get rid of this guy for years. He's 
definitely not returning from that kind of fall. Uh, me, me up. Uh, it's been hurting a lot of lantern dragons, so thank you for that. S Sweet, are you okay? Yes, Mrs. Emily. It, it's time to go to your new home, sweetie, with me in, in the city. This one was kind of sad at times, but it's still a good one. I, I like sharing it with you. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.